There are so many Minecraft gun mods. We've got Mr. Crayfish's gun mod, Flan's gun mod, simple animated guns, happiness is a warm gun, the immersive portal gun, does, does that one... That one count, but they all have one thing in common. None of them, no matter how hard they try, in my opinion, feel like vanilla. I mean, let's face it, one of them just adds demons as well. Not exactly screaming Mojang would add this. And I thought all hope was lost. That is until I found Bren, the most vanilla Minecraft gun mod. And today I'm gonna be telling you all about it. So let's go. To get started with Bren, you're going to want to find a village, but more specifically the gun shop with the brand new workbench. And don't worry if none of the houses in the village are a gun shop, you can craft the workbench with four iron and two wooden planks like so. Once you've found a workbench so long as there's nothing terrible that's happened to the village yet there should be a villager who's taken up the gunsmith profession this guy sells items related to firearms and he's your gateway to everything that this mod has to offer you're gonna want to trade with him until he offers up the auto loader contraption the key ingredient in creating all of the guns in this mod and speaking of the guns let's go over them brent offers a machine gun auto gun rifle and shotgun all of which require a metal tube to craft you can make a metal tube using six iron ingots in a pattern like this the machine gun is a high speed low damage firearm dealing about 4.5 range damage per bullet. The auto gun is a medium speed and medium damage firearm, dealing about 6 range damage per bullet. The rifle is the slowest firearm, but to make up for it, it packs a punch at 10 damage per bullet. And finally, the shotgun, which is unique as a close range only firearm with its own ammo. Every time you fire, the shotgun will shoot 5 shrapnels, which each deal 3.75 range damage. So all in all, with close enough range, the shotgun can deal about 18 damage if all of the shrapnels hit your target. And can we just talk about the attention to detail put into the particle effects and animations of these things? It genuinely feels like if Mojang were going to add guns, this is how they'd be. Anyway, moving on. The machine gun, auto gun, and rifle all use bullets, which you can craft using four gold, one gunpowder, and one copper. A recipe that'll give you 12 bullets. The shotgun, on the other hand, uses shells, which can be crafted using two gold, two iron nuggets, two paper, and one gunpowder, giving you eight shells. And if you don't have the inventory space to be carrying a ton of bullets around, this mod also introduces magazines, which can be used both to store more ammo and reload your whole gun faster. The short magazine, crafted with two iron nuggets and a bowl, can hold six ammo. The regular magazine, crafted with an extra iron nugget at the bottom can hold 20 ammo, which means technically that one singular iron nugget can hold 14 ammo. And the cloth magazine is an exclusive trade from the gunsmith villager, which can both be dyed and also hold 20 ammo, allowing for a little bit of customization. All right, now that we've covered the basics, let's get on to how you can upgrade your guns. To max these things out, there are two things that you're gonna need, enchantments and netherite. To upgrade your gun to netherite, it's literally the same as upgrading any other item in the game. All you'll need is a netherite ingot and an upgrade template. But now for the fun bit. Bren adds three new enchantments, overflow, autofill, and silence. Overflow can be put on magazines and has a maximum of four levels, with each level slightly increasing the capacity of the magazine, maxing out at double its original hold. Autofill is another enchantment for magazines, which you'll never guess, makes them fill up automatically from ammo that's in your inventory. From what I can gather, each level makes it slightly faster or more likely to fill. And finally, silence can be put on a rifle to make it significantly quieter, which I think is a way cooler solution than adding attachments for your gun. Especially with the vanilla feel that this mod seems to be going for, enchantments are definitely the way to go in the future. And once you've got all these enchantments, and netherite upgrades, you're definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with. But to even get started, you're going to need to install the mod. So the link for you to get Bren will be in the description below. But hey, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more shorter reviews like this one, make sure to like and subscribe because it's honestly the best way you can help the channel out. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.